and once again welcome to my oedis channel so today we will have another one troll play card and here you can see this is a local clinic and the nurse's role is you are seeing a 46 year old patient who had surgery for appendicitis a week ago inactivity and past medical history has put him or her at risk of blood clots so he or she needs heparin injections these were stated, started in hospital and have been self-administered since the patient was discharged four days ago. He or she is concerned about bruising at the injection site and you have just examined the patient. So this is the uh, scenario and here you have to think about this is a known case or unknown case. Of course this is a known case because at last you can see that you have just examined the patient. So already you have uh, introduced with the patient and you got introduction then you started to examine and now it's already finished so again you could not tell that i am Ashwira Ajahn, one of the registered nurses or something something like that you could not ask the patient name also so what you have to do if you see something like this you have to ask the patient's name during your three minute preparation time how may i address you during the route play example the interlocutor is um, uh, interlocutor has told you can call me williams okay so the patient is name is Williams you can write it down in the case note because in the play I mean the role play card don't uh, think that you can keep the name in your mind because you will have many practice with your friends your teacher or um, somewhere so all these names will be in your semi-conscious mind and on the flow you will tell these names and all so don't forget to write patient's name on your role play card that's the first thing then so you can see that you are sitting in a local clinic and the patients come to you and patient's history is already uh, he has entered appendectomy a week ago and uh, there was the risk of blood clot so he has been in uh, warfarin injection now he is self-administering for four days and this is a day uh, patient have more pain and some bruises so he is coming to you to get some more um, uh, clarifications and management and uh, you have examined already so how you can start the first uh, task is find out more details about bruising onset changes in pain and explore any other symptoms fever shortness of breath nausea etc so this is two questions so first of all we can start how we can start well uh, mr williams thank you for allowing me to examine your bruised area but no need to worry we can manage um, it's like easy in a, in a easy manner before proceeding further may i get some information from you regarding your health so that is the first question we will ask we will give the reassurance and we will ask some more question patient is telling that is yes, of course you can then you can ask uh, mr williams could you please tell me from when it got started and do you do you have any changes in the pain level and uh, what about the uh, symptoms along with your these bruises do you have any fever shortness of breath or any nausea and uh, keep it in your mind don't use the word etc you can use so on or else you can uh, after shortness of breath you can add and nausea okay or nausea like that then patient uh, told um, actually sister the onset is uh, when i started to self-administer it was okay for the first day but uh, gradually the bruising has started and it will it is an increasing pain and the bruising also it started to increase and other than pain actually i don't have any other symptoms okay then we will tell thank you for information and um, for my better uh, clarification may i ask you one question regarding your compliance with the heparin injection advice uh, i mean uh, like the method and the timing of your injection and variations in the injection site then the patient is telling that actually i am compliant with the method as per my doctor's advice that actually i am self-administering in the correct method and at the same time but um, what you told me what you asked me the variation in injection site really sister i forgot that thing because doctor told me to change the site but i'm giving it the same site then we can tell that oh well mr williams now i can clearly understood that this is the reason for your bruise then the next question is remind patient of need for injection site variation so we can tell that for your information i would like to tell you that it is essential for you to change the site of injection to reduce the risk of trauma to the skin of course this bruise is happened because of the same injection site of course if you are doing uh, this uh, changes of site the pain also will be 
relieved and you will not get much uh, pain also then for your further information i would strong i would like to give you strong suggestion um, uh, for relieving the bruising please apply pressure if there is any um, bleeding and please avoid rubbing the injection site so whenever you will do the self administration of warfarin please keep it in your mind these points how does that sound you can ask because this is advice so you can tell you can ask how does that sound are you okay with that do you think you can do that this all uh, you can i mean any of this you can ask so to prevent bruising we are giving advice okay for further i am giving i am strongly suggesting you to prevent bru further bruising please apply pressure if there is any bleeding after injection and uh, please avoid rubbing the injection site after injection also then the next task is stress importance of continuing injections so then we can ask some question do you have any other concern williams so then patient is telling that sister actually i am now i am moving around the home and i am now not uh, i am not able bound now so i am thinking that there is no more needed for this war fire may i stop with this one then we can tell that mr williams i can truly understand your concern but i would like to tell you that still uh, your uh, activity levels are insufficient and you are uh, having ongoing risk of blood clots because still uh, you are in post operative period so i am strongly reassure, i'm i'm reassuring you that these injections are for short time it may be only for 30 days as per your doctor's uh, prescription and these bruisings are very common among post operative patients and i'm sure i'm once again reassuring you that if you follow all my techniques there will not be no more bruising and no more complications in your uh, injection site is it okay for you like that we can ask then then we can tell that uh, after 30 days please have a gp's consultation so that he can stop your uh, injection how does that sound or you can ask that is it okay are you following me is it clear for you like that we can ask and the next one is advised no need for treatment for bruising that means we are asking do you have any other clarifications or you need any other questions like that patient is telling that okay sister i can understand that i will continue with the medications but what i can do for this bruises then we can tell that uh, we mr williams i can allow acknowledge your um, question but actually there is no treatment for this bruising this is self resolving and there is no cause for concern also because this is a common among uh, the administration of warfarin and without any treatment which can be which will be resolved and please try to change the injection site that's only the thing uh, actually you have to do that's only the thing we have to tell to the patient then the next step we can tell that and um, so billions uh, please continue with your injections and after 30 days please don't forget uh, your appointment and or else we can tell please have your appointment with your general practitioner then we can ask tell i hope i have clarified all your doubts uh, do you have any other concern then patient is telling i don't have any other concern then we can tell okay mr billions uh, um, i am reassure once again i am reassuring you that if you follow all of my advices and or all are my advices your problem will resolve and you will not have any other episodes of bruises and meanwhile if you need any question if you have any questions or if you need any assistance please do not hesitate to contact with us anytime so that is the conclusion of this role play because this is a local clinic so they can make a call and they can get the um, advices so this is the role play i hope it's clear for you and uh, important thing uh, in every exam there will be one non scenario one or two non scenario but it will be tricky an easy way you have just examined the patient the things is there that is non scenario no need for your self introduction you can start with well mr williams thank you for allowing me to examine you but then another one more thing is if the patient is hospitalized patient and you are talking with the discharge uh, uh, discharge um, plan there will be one scenario like that in every exam there also it is a non case so no need for uh, your self introduction you can just start with mr george how are you good morning how are you feeling now i came here for discussing with you regarding your discharge plan so like that we can go so this is a uh, newly introduced uh, role play um, so if you if you are not familiar with this type of questions please refer um, in my telegram group there i have posted many exam oriented questions you can search it in the uh, files and in pdf there will be questions and even the case not for the letters you can find out there so i hope it's beneficial for you and we will meet you with another one informative oit video until then bye take care